You know, this whole story is the greatest art heist in history. Did you personally take any of the statues that were here? It's like a thousand-year-old jigsaw puzzle. Ah! Back in the day, there would have been sculpture everywhere, temples, and then this huge pyramid looming over everything. Something went wrong in this city. Something made it collapse. No one really knows for sure what happened. Girls, come here. What did you find? I found a column. Ah! We have an inscription! Long way down. Yeah. Here we go. Definitely seems to have carving on it. This is literally a message from the past. We are right now the first people to see this in a 1,000 years. Ooh, this is unstable. OK, here goes nothing. Oh, look at this face. Oh, my word. For centuries, the city of Angkor stood as the capital of Cambodia's mighty Khmer Empire. Its kings ruled there for 600 years, except for a brief and mysterious time when the capital was moved somewhere else entirely. In the 10th century, a king named Jayavarman IV decided to build a new center of power deep in the Cambodian jungle, a place known as Gake. Jayavarman oversaw the construction of dozens of temples, reservoirs, and the tallest pyramid in the entire country, all of it adorned with the finest statues in the history of the empire. But then, only 20 years later, the city was suddenly, mysteriously abandoned, its ruins swallowed by the jungle. But why was it built in such a remote place? And why did it fall? Unfortunately, the art and sculptures from the city that could provide crucial answers have been relentlessly looted or destroyed. But now, an international team of investigators is on the case. Archaeologists armed with the latest technology are working hand in hand with former looters to locate and restore these priceless masterpieces. So join me as I journey into the untamed jungles of Southeast Asia to literally piece together the statues and the secrets of Cambodia's lost capital.